Okay guys, it's time to have a look at destructuring in ES 2015. Now to destructure generally means to destroy the structure or dismantle something, right? So in this video, our focus is going to be on how to destructure arrays and we'll save destructuring objects for the next video. So to destructure an array is to pull apart the elements of the array. Let us have a look at some of the examples. I'm going to start off by creating a simple employee array and this is going to hold three values. First one is Chandler, which is first name. Then we'll have Bing, which is the last name. And then we'll have male, which is the gender. And next I'm going to have this piece of code right here. Let, within square brackets, I'm going to say first name, <coughs> excuse me, L name, which is last name, and then gender. And this is going to be assigned to this employee. So employee array. So what looks like an array creation is actually the destructuring of this employee array. So the first three elements of the employee array are assigned to these three variables. So Chandler gets assigned to first name, Bing to last name, and male to gender. So we are destructuring this employee array by splitting up this individual elements and assigning them to these variables. So one is to one mapping Chandler to first name, Bing to last name, male to gender. Now if we can just log first name and then log last name and then log gender and have a look at our output. We have Chandler, Bing and male. So that's a basic idea in destructuring. We take the individual elements from an array and assign it to individual variables. Now let's say, consider the second example. We, we don't have this male gender anymore, but still we are trying to assign or destructure this employee into first name, last name, and gender. What happens then? Let's save this and have a look at our console. It says Chandler, Bing, and undefined. So we can still specify any number of variables on the left hand side while destructuring an array but once the one is to one mapping is done so Chandler to first name Bing to last name and we don't have any more values to assign to the variable undefined is going to be the value for this gender and so on so keep that in mind now we can also omit variables on the left hand side for example let's say we have the gender again and now we only want to save this male into this gender variable we don't want to unnecessarily have memory for first name and last name since we are not going to be using it so in such a scenario we can just omit it but this comma right here is essential so now we can just come in this out so comma comma and then gender since we need the gender and we're going to destructure employee into this so let's save this there you go, we just have the gender now. So it is possible to destructure an array with only the necessary values that we require. And we can also destructure using the rest operator. So let me undo these changes. Okay, so the rest operator helps us to have a single variable that can contain a group of elements. So let me replace last name and gender by dot 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 which is the syntax for rest operators and then elements. Now over here I'll just log elements and I'm going to comment this we don't have gender anymore so let's save this and see what the output is. So we have Chandler and then another array of Bing and male. So we have Chandler which is assigned to first name and now since we have a rest operator the remaining values are getting stored into an array and assigned to this element. So when we log elements, we have a new array with Bing and male. If we had two more values after male, then elements would contain four values in total. So just keep in mind, it is possible to use rest operator while destructuring arrays. And finally, we can also use destructuring with default values. So let me undo the changes again. And now, suppose we don't have male anymore. We don't have the gender. 
So over here, we can specify a default value. So mail. Now when I save this, we have Chandler, Bing and mail. So since we are not specifying mail or a third value in our employee array, there is no destructuring for this gender variable. So it is going to take mail as the default value and is going to log onto the console. So if I add female over here, let's save this. So Chandler being female. So employee now has female as the third value, which can get assigned to this gender variable. So that's pretty much it about destructuring arrays. Hope you guys understood the few examples I was able to explain. Like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying the videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.